Good evening, everyone. I'm Tina Tai Shaw. And I'm Ben Singer. Thank you for joining us tonight. Our top story tonight, relief for hundreds of our local seniors who were without power for nearly an entire day. Two senior living facilities went dark when Idalia hit a savanna, and as several people reached out to WSAB to bring awareness to this problem, tonight we are getting answers. After more than 20 hours of frustration, people living at two Savannah senior living complexes finally have power again. Hurricane Idalia knocked out power at Live Oak Landing and the veranda at Midtown. Veranda resident Jay Jones worried all night about her health condition. I spent last night in my bra and my undies all night sleeping, sitting up. And I have a medical, a rare medical condition. So when my AC goes up, it's life threatening. I don't regulate body temperature anymore. I don't make tears. Alfreda Brenson talked to WSAV about her experience. We went through the night and I think everybody was expecting power by morning. Alfreda and some 100 seniors became closer neighbors as they waited for lights. As a community, we grew, we grew a little stronger because we went around and we checked on each other's. Many people here rely on wheelchairs, walkers, and oxygen machines. For some, the waiting was too much, forcing family members to pick them up. City Alderman Linda Wilder Bryan and Dietrich Leggett stopped by to support the residents until the problem could be solved. Well, we went through city uh, offices, city staff came out, and we had uh, multiple uh, people who would come out and, and, and offer help. Just amazing how people have just, uh, just, just taken care of us, and that's what we do. The host of city taking care of the mostest people, our uh, senior elder babies. Savannah police showed up to patrol the building because the electric doors were stuck open as Chick-fil-A employees brought food for those in need. The city had cat buses on standby for evacuation. Thankfully, after 8 Thursday night, the lights came back on. I do want you to know that I called a Georgia Power searching for answers about the timeline for restoration. At 7 o'clock tonight, power was back on a little after 8 o'clock. Georgia Power told me there were multiple trees down on overhead lines and a primary wire down as well. They also sent this statement about the situation. Hurricane Adalia was an incredibly destructive storm and our teams have been working safely nonstop and as quickly as possible to restore power to thousands of customers across Savannah. We are glad to report that repairs were completed and power has been restored tonight for three senior facilities in the area which were hit hard by the storm. We thank the staff for the important work they do in the community and in taking care of the residents and appreciate all our customers' patience and sincerely apologize for their inconvenience. Georgia Power also told me tonight that they expect to have power restored to 95% of Savannah customers impacted by the storm no later than 8 tomorrow night.